Yeah, no, no, no. I will do. I will, I will do that. Uh, but, but if you don't mind, I'll do. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my question was about. Been out of poverty. Out. <laughs> my question was about process. I was really curious about the process that you went through, both in the villages and then the process of actually creating the products that you knew were going to be instrumental in, in helping those particular communities. So I'll say a little bit about that, and then I'll give you uh, some context, just like what you were saying. Um, everything for me begins by talking to poor people and, uh, and learning about their lives. The, in the, in the, in the Out of Poverty book, I say, if you want to solve any problem, go to where the action is, talk to the people who have the problem, and actually listen to what they have to say and learn everything there is to learn about the specific context of the problem. Those mm -hmm. are the first three steps, and that's what I do. So in, in, uh, in the work with IDE, we focused, there are 1.2 billion people in the world who live on less than a dollar a day. 850 million of them live in rural areas in developing countries and make their income from farming, primary income from farming. They have other sources of income. So here's what I do, the process. I'll go to a village, in Nepal, and I'll interview 20 people. I'll spend a, at least a half a day interviewing one family. And I ask them everything that you can imagine about their lives. And I walk with them. This is a farm family. They make their living from a one acre farm split into four or five quarter acre plots. I'll walk with them through their fields. I want to know in the, at, at the end of that half day, where does all their income come from? What do they spend it on? What do they eat? How far do their kids go to school? What clothes do they wear? What are their dreams? What do they feed their dog? I mean, mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And this is not difficult if you're truly curious about mm -hmm. it. And usually I have an interpreter, but the, the thing about learning this is not about the words. It's about what you see with your eyes. So it has to do with ruthless curiosity. Mm -hmm. uh, if mm -hmm. they're making their living from farming, I walk through their fields and I count how many vegetables there are in a row and how many rows there are. And I ask them what they expect to make, but I've already been to the market and talked to the traders in the market, so I know what those things are actually selling for. So if they think I'm a tax collector, <laughs> they tell me that, uh, that they're making nothing. If they want to please their friend who's doing the interpretation, they're going to tell me that they're just doing great. But 